Time now to uh, talk about motorbike racing and two young Donegal men who will uh, continue in what are as their very, very young careers in England. And in a couple of weeks' time, they're going to be back in action in the the British Superbike Championship in their uh, respective uh, classes. And they've uh, stepped up from 2020 and 2019 as well. And the two guys that I'm talking about are, of course, the Erwin brothers from Kill McCrennan. And that being at Reese and Keelan. Very good evening, gentlemen. You're welcome to Hound Radio again. How are you? Thanks for having us. Well, good to see you. Good to see you again, guys. I, I can tell you what, there's some very impressive uh, silverware there behind the two of you. <laughs> That's our mum's pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> does she be shining them every day, does she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, listen, boys, another exciting year ahead. And uh, maybe we'll start with you. Uh, first of all, Reese, if you don't mind, Keelan, we'll let, the, we'll let the youngest in first. So we will. Uh, Reese, it's going to be an exciting uh, 2021 for you. You've stepped up now to the Super Sports 600. You've joined uh, a new team as well. So uh, tell us what's going to lie ahead for you now in the next couple of weeks, Reese. Yeah, no, it's all going to it's all gonna kick off now at the end of April. We've got our first test. But yeah, you know, next year I'm moving up to the the British Super Sport category, and I'm going to be racing for the Team Happy Yard McAdam Yamaha. And to be honest, it was it was a brilliant 2020. You know, I think given the way everything played out with the pandemic and everything, the wee bit of racing we got went really well. And after having such a good pre-season in Superstock, I have ended up this year joining, you know, the Happy Yard McAdam Yamaha team for British Super Sport. And it's, uh, I can't wait to get started. I think, you know, it's a big a really big team and everything, and I just can't wait to get to get started. Yeah, and you're, you're stepping up. Tell us about the, the the Super Sport 200. This is a step up from from. The, you're actually joining a team from last year, isn't that correct, uh, Reese? In the same in the same class. Yeah, yeah. Moving into, I'm moving up in class. I'm going into a, like a higher a higher level class, and I'm moving into like a an official Yamaha team and everything. So it's a bit of a step up and a bit of a learning curve, but. I can't wait to get started. Yeah, and I suppose the testing will be crucial when it, when it happens in, in a couple of weeks' time. Where will you be doing that, Reese? Yeah, definitely. We start testing. We go to our first test in Silverstone uh, in the end of April 28th, 29th, I think. And, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough, you know, that I'm the I'm the rookie of the team, you know, and I'm, the team have made, you know, made it very clear that there's no real expectations for me. It's just kind of to go and learn and try and improve and see how I get on. So, Looking forward to testing, you know, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to wrap my head around and not a lot of time to do it because normally, you know, we do the winter in Spain and stuff, training or testing bikes and stuff. And unfortunately with this year, I've not been able to travel as much. We, um, all our testing is now going to be in the UK, so we only don't have as much testing and stuff to, to get used to the new bike and moving up and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to wrap my head around quite quick. But yeah, no, I can't wait to get started, you know, I think. It'll be it'll definitely be a steep learning curve, but it should be good. Yeah, and I suppose if you can continue that good form from last year, you're going to be on a good fo- footing for, for 2021. And I've got a feeling that you're not going to shy away about trying to get the, the spike on the full limits early on. Yeah, definitely not. You know, I feel like if I can get on it and get comfortable and stuff fairly quick, and, you know, when I think in a team as good as, you know, as the team that I'm going into, you know, I don't think it'll be, take too long for me to get settled in. You know, they've they've won the championship the last four years in a row now. You know, they've had great riders come through them, you know, like Jack Kennedy and you know, even Jake Dixon now, who's in, who's in Grand Prix. So, you know, I'm looking forward to hopefully being one of the names that has come through and moved on to some bigger and better things. Yeah. Let's jump over to your, your brother, Keelan, who's actually not too far away from me. He's only down the hall in the other bedroom in the house. But, uh, uh, Keelan, you've also stepped up the machinery. Uh, you're going out with the big guns who you are in Superstock 1000. Yeah, so big step for me, obviously, up to um, Superstock 1000 with the Astro JGR team. So it kind of, yeah, big opportunity, and I'm really grateful the way it came around and stuff. So, um, yeah, really good. I've had three days on the bike already. Uh, thanks to the MCI and the Irish Sports Council, I was I was granted permission to travel. Um, being an elite athlete, so we got some testing and stuff done already, and so feel really good. Obviously, new team, new people, and obviously a big step up in bike. So it's all it's all new, but I'm just kind of rolling with the punches at the minute and really enjoying it. To be honest, the um a bit like Greece, the team's brilliant, and so it's just kind of puts me at ease. I just need to do my bit then. Yeah. 
In relation to power between last year and, and, and this year, obviously you've got a significant lot more power uh, on under the handlebars and under the under the, the engine this year. So you have. Yeah, definitely. That's the uh, that's the biggest thing. This the first three days was just the speed was like mind blowing. So um, I still I probably not got my head around it just yet, but um, yeah, it's just so much quicker. Like I think it's like pretty much a hundred and ten horsepower more like than what I had last year. Which is like fifty percent more, so it's it's just ridiculous. But um, no, I'm enjoying it. it. Probably, it seems to be sitting me. Um, even though I'm not the biggest person in the world, it seems to sit kind of my riding style a wee bit more than the six hundred. So um, I've got I've got a lot to learn, but I'm in a fortunate position that I've got two like really experienced teammates and stuff, so I can look at the data and stuff and see where I'm going wrong. Yeah, we heard Reese say there that there wasn't a massive expectation from the team, uh, from him, particularly in the early part of the year as he beds himself in. What's the expectation of, of Astro JJR for you, Keon? Um, Pretty much the same. Just uh, I'm broadly speaking on a, probably like a two-year plan with them that this year we will just learn and chip away and kind of try not to do anything stupid is the main thing. But um, And then obviously hopefully for 2022 I'll be in a good position to do what I've done this year only in in that class but i was slow to when the opportunity came up i was a bit apprehensive because i wasn't sure if i was just ready and um, just yet but the way things like the way that they, they've laid it out like cause i'm kind of the junior rider and stuff it was it was too good to turn it down and it's an opportunity like i've dreamed of getting but just um when it's there in front of you sometimes it's it um, can be daunting when did the moves to these teams uh, discussions start? Because you two guys towards the end of last season were flying and you had a 1-2 in the last race of, of, of the year, which was hugely exciting. Uh, so it was it was a great battle between everybody involved in the top places and ended up that the Juice boys were 1-2. and two. Uh, At that stage, come the end of the season, did you just know possibly where your paths might be next year or did you just have to wait a while? Uh, well, for yeah, well, well Keelan. I um I probably initially I started speaking to Astro in July as early as July, but it was and it was probably if at the last race it was probably pretty much sewn up yeah that that's what I would do, and that I would definitely stay with the I would like ride for the team next year, um obviously the finer details and stuff was still to be worked out but I would say it was a done deal from about. Yeah, from, from October kind of time. We we initially started speaking even before the race and started, obviously, with the pandemic and stuff. I um I started speaking to Shu and stuff pretty much after the first race of 2020. I finished second and I showed I was quite competitive and stuff. So I like to think they were keen to do something and I was keen to obviously do something with them because of you know their history and stuff and how good the team is. And I know like James runs a really good setup and stuff. So um, for me, I probably went to the last round pretty relaxed. You know that my I kind of knew what my future was was gonna entail. Yeah, and what about you, Reese? Did did you know where you were going uh, after the last race of, of of last season, or did you have to wait around for a couple of weeks as well before things started to pan out? Yeah, no. To be fair, I was quite fortunate that you know I had started speaking to the team and stuff. You know, quite early in the season. You know, even as early as Silverstone. To be fair, we were kind of you know we were speaking about kind of going. But this sort of about making a plan for next year. So yeah, not I was I was fortunate enough that yeah, coming to the last rounds and stuff, you know, I wasn't I wasn't panicking, thinking, you know, who what am I gonna do next year and everything. It was nice to nice to be a bit more relaxed with the going in the last few races, knowing that you've got you've got a plan ahead for next year. Yeah. Uh young racer of the year for twenty twenty race. Uh that was you. Any pressure then on your shoulders going into this year since you got that title uh, as you head to the six hundred? Yeah, not really. I think last year I was, you know, going into stock six as a rookie. You know, I went into the year with no expectations and was just kind of planned to go in and do my best. And then obviously it went went quite well. And then this year I'm kind of going in with the same sort of expectations. So this year I'm not really under much pressure. You know, I see it more as, you know, I'm the youngest, you know, in the class and I've got, or one of the youngest anyway, and I've got, uh, you know, I've got a great bike and a great team. So the way I kind of see it is the pressure's on all the older guys that are, you know, there and they're under pressure for championship and stuff. So, no, I'm definitely not, not too stressed. I'm really, really looking forward to it. You know, I'm really, really excited to get going. Yeah. Finally then, with you, Reese, can you pull off a shock this year like what you did last year? Second in the championship? In your that, that's, rookie season? Uh, that's, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how tall in order will it be? 
Yeah, no, I'd love to be a tall order, you know, and to be fair, British Super Sport this year, you know, because uh, obviously there's a few, there's another manufacturer come in, they're running another factory team, and there's, you know, a lot of big names and big riders coming back into it. You know, we've got World Super Sport riders coming back, and we've got, you know, Jack Kennedy, two time champion, you know, most successful British Super Sport racer ever back in the championships. So this year, you know, it's be, it's going to be harder than it has been for the last, you know, good few years. You know, there's a lot, a lot of quick guys but this year, and then you even have, like to myself moving up and touch you know and I obviously feel that I can be I can be as strong as anyone else so you know it'll be a tall order but you know I think no one will really know until we get to know the first test or even the first round you know but I'm I'm fairly confident that I'll not be too far away. Okay then Keelan what's what's your expectation then uh, for the year can can you pull off a possible shock like what, you, what your younger brother did last year in the in the uh, the super stock uh, 600 can you get yourself maybe into those top places come the end of the championship? Um, yeah, well, I'm obviously I'm going to try. It's going to be very difficult. Um, it's a tough class and a lot of really good riders and good bikes. But I think the biggest thing for me is if, if I can just progress through the first few rounds and that should like really lay my foundation for the end of the year. Hopefully then I'll be able to get up towards the front and stuff and maybe win some bonus money and have a good winter. Uh, and finally, just uh, Caelan, fr- from you, as a, as a family, is this probably the most exciting year for, for everyone racing team? Yeah, I would say it's um, the most exciting, but it's different as well because obviously we're going to different teams and stuff. And it's been it's been a few years since we've been apart, so it's um, it's good. It's definitely different. Everyone's very excited. It's a bit of a uh, it's not ideal, obviously, with the pandemic and stuff because um, like for people going to watch and stuff from here is probably not going to be possible. I think um, I think at the minute it's going to be full crowds and stuff in England. You know their uh, restrictions are obviously opening up a lot quicker than us but um no really looking forward it's really exciting and um it's definitely got us, the winter is just flowing in with uh, all this on the horizon yeah if you're into your motorbikes you know that the, the super bikes is the top end uh, so it is and uh, possibly maybe one day ratios two boys could be battling it out again at, at the at the same level and at the top level yeah that's that's definitely the plan anyway <laughs> Yeah. All right then, guys. Listen, great to talk to you again, and uh, delighted that uh, you are heading back across the channel to to represent Donegal on on the bikes. And all we can do is wish you every success with testing, and of course, what's to come after that, the start of the championship. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us.